Hey there, this is Crystal and we're filling in form fields in Microsoft Word. There's an area of Word that you actually need to add to the ribbon for fill in form fields. It's normally not part of the default when you first add Word. You can add that developer tab in the ribbon and then you can have it and if you don't need it, eh, you can just ignore it. Here I'm in my Microsoft Word document. And I do have some fields here that I actually want to replace with as opposed to just names and perhaps even date that's right here. I want to, every time I go into that field, have someone be able to just type it in and just fill in the information. Again, I need the developer tab for that. I don't have that in my ribbon. So to add the developer tab, I go to the file tab and I go to options. And when I'm customizing the ribbon here in the Word options, all the way in the Customize Ribbon area right over here, it's checking all of the tabs that are listed. Now, notice Developer is not listed by default. It's not checked. So all I have to do is check it. I don't have to restart Word. All I have to do is just click OK. And the Developer tab is right here added for me. And here are all the controls that I'll need for those particular fill-ins. Now, in earlier versions of Word, it was called fill-ins. Now it's called content control. It does exactly the same thing. The only thing is that the box is a little more elegant than it was before. So here, I want to actually replace, see where it says first name here. I'm going to actually delete that. And right where this cursor is right here, I want that content control to have that box right in there. So I'm going to choose which control is available. So I can say I want the rich text content control. And notice, see where it says click here to enter text? Now I can start adding the person's name. Same thing with last name. I'm just going to delete that placeholder that I had. And now I'm going to click right here. Now I have the area where I can type in the first name right in here. And then click right over here and type in the person's last name. I can also go from one content control to another by pressing F11 or the tab key. Another nice content control as opposed to just names and text where it says date here I can remove date and in the controls there is a control for a date picker. Yep that's the name. So I can click right here and it automatically places click here to enter a date I, there's a little drop down arrow here where I can actually choose from a date in a calendar. It's a great way for you to control when people are actually adding items in here, they're only adding the date format that you'd like. So there you have it, using fill-in fields in Microsoft Word. This is Crystal. See you soon.